Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Thursday, October 21st. It's getting really close to Halloween. I'm so excited. But um, we got some Halloween stuff coming up actually this weekend. So it's going to be fun. Anyways, today is a national holiday. <laughs> I saw this holiday coming up because um, I like to check that calendar every now and then. I have one hanging in the kitchen that has holidays on it. But there's also a website that I go to that has like a ton of them on there. And I happen to see that today is National Reptile Day which is cool because Devin and Jesse love reptiles. I don't hate them, but they're not like my favorite. <laughs> I don't hate any animals. I just, I don't want to touch snakes and lizards and things like that. <laughs> but um, I like to watch Jesse and Devin look at them and play with them when we go to zoos and stuff. But uh, I'll just, you know, stand over here. <laughs> Anyways, I made Jesse an axolotl recently. I showed, shared it, uh, it's recently. Anyways, after that, he wanted a gecko. And uh, I, pro I forgot and procrastinated <laughs> making it. But when I saw that it was National Reptile Day coming up today, I thought, well, better time to do it than now because then I can make him his gecko and I can also share it with you guys. So I found this gecko pattern on Ravelry for free. It's, I'm pretty sure it's a PDF download. I think so. But it's just called Gecko by Ellie Skeen. Skeen, I think is how you say it. <laughs> and it's just a cute little gecko. So here's the one I made. I used, um, this is I Love This Yarn. It's a really bright green color. I don't have the ball bed anymore because it's a scrap ball. I can't remember what it's called, but it's a really bright green color. Kind of similar to um, Red Heart Glow Worm that they used to make. They don't make it anymore, which is sad because I loved it. But this is I Love This Yarn. And um, this is, I made the gills to his axolotl with this color. And he wanted his gecko to be this green color. So I made his goofy looking little gecko. I think he's kind of goofy looking because his feet are like comically funny looking. And I accidentally put his eyes way too close to up here. They should probably be like here. But I was working on this. I made from the nose to about right here in the car, waiting to pick Jesse up yesterday. And I had to stop because I didn't, ha I didn't bring safety eyes or stuff in with me. So I stopped until I got home. And then I had to get his eyes in there, stuff his head and his little body. And then I finished his tail and made his legs. They're separate. You have to sew them on. And I think his legs came out so goofy looking. I didn't exactly follow the pattern because at the end it told you to fold them in half and sew them on, but I wasn't sure what that meant. I don't know if it meant this part or if it meant like folding them like that, you know, like in a tunnel shape. <laughs> I don't know, but I think he's cute and Jesse loves him so. But he's like goofy cute because his eyes are really close to his nose and his feet look like they're spread out. <laughs> but you know, he could be like, um, you know, gripping a wall the way they do. <laughs> but it's cute and it's a free pattern. It's really quick. Like I said, I made it mostly in the car. If I had had a little bag of stuff on me and safety eyes, I could have finished him in the car checkout lane. And I only sat in it for like 30 minutes. I don't get there too early, but I do get there kind of early. But he is so cute. He's about the same size as the axolotl. I don't think it's in here. It's in his bedroom somewhere. But it's about the same length. Um, the pattern calls for DK weight yarn, which I don't ever use. I have some, but uh, I mostly stick to worsted weight because I like to make slightly larger amigurumis <laughs> and so i did use rust weight yarn and it called for a g-hook and i did use a g-hook so mine came out a little bit bigger than like the pattern pictures but um that's okay because it's just a bigger gecko <laughs> and uh if you wanted to make like one that looks like a realistic ge gecko like if your kid has a pet with spots you could just stitch on spots or something and uh or change the colors you know i think it's a cute pattern he's so cute <laughs> so he'll go with jesse's little axolotl and if he wants something else I'll make him something else because I always do. But he's cute. Ain't he cute? He's like goofy cute. <laughs> I love his little hands. But yeah, so it's made in five pieces. The body and the four legs. The legs were pretty easy to sew on there. Little eyes. You could stitch on eyes if you didn't want to use safety eyes. But I think he's adorable. So I'll link this pattern below if you want to check it out and make it for somebody. Uh, this would be cute for any little kid who likes animals. And Christmas is coming up. This would be a cute little stocking stuffer. Or just something, like if you're getting a gift bag together for someone, you could throw a amigurumi down in there also, along with the gifts. And it would just be cute. But yeah, so I'm going to put this somewhere. Because I didn't let like just play with it last time because I tried to keep it clean until I show it to you guys. And now it's going to get rummaged. And then I'll have to find it when I do a No Catch Name episode. Because <laughs> he'll play with it and I'll, it'll be up and underneath something or in a bag somewhere. And I'll have to dig it out and show it to you, you guys again on the No Catch Name episode that's coming up probably the weekend yeah so that's what i um made for the national holiday i wasn't sure if geckos were reptiles i think they are <laughs> i'm not sure i don't know if they're reptiles or amphibians but i think they're reptiles i'm not sure 
but we'll just um, for the sake of this video I'm gonna say it's a reptile <laughs> but because I don't know much about um, geckos but it could also be a salamander I guess because it I mean they basically look the same <laughs> but yeah so that's the gecko it'll be linked below if you want to check it out on Ravelry it is a free download of a PDF so that's nice it's always nice to get free PDFs <laughs> and uh, it's very simple the body only has like 20 something written rolls and then the tail you just you do 10 um, single crochet or nine single crochets and on the 10th one you decrease until it gets down to five and then you close it so it's pretty simple but yeah that's it it'll be linked below if you want to check them out and i'll see you guys soon in another national holiday video i'll see you later today for a vlog and i'll see you probably tomorrow for another video i don't know <laughs> i'm trying to pump out a bunch of videos but um I'm, I'm gonna hop off here because I'm doing some sewing. It's all behind you. I brought it in the living room today. I'm working on zippers and top stitching today, which is not that fun, but it's getting done. I'm about half, I'm all, well, I got all the project bags done and half the notion pouches done. So I just gotta put zippers in the other half of the notion pouches and then do top stitching on everything. So it's getting there. <laughs> but I'm gonna hop off and get this video up for you guys and I'll link that below if you wanna check it out because it's super cute and super easy. And uh, I'll see you guys in the video. Bye guys.